Scene one takes us to the queen and king sitting at the thrones in the main hall. Your Highness, my dear, whatever is the matter? My darling, my life lacks adventure. I want to have more fun. To put it simply, I am bored. I need a change of scene. It even depressed me to look out the window. But why? Because everything out there has something to do. The sun and the clouds and the birds are busy in the air. There, that's what can cure my boredom. What? Where? Up there. The birds? What do you want to do with a sparrow? Not the whole bird, just the wings. His lovely, feathery wings. I want to travel to the distant lands. I want to fly. There must be something in my kingdom who can make me a pair of wings. Paige! Paige! Where the heck is that boy? Sire! Whoa! Go to the royal treasure chest and fetch me a bag of gold. I will give it to I'll give the bag of gold to the person who brings me a pair of wings that will help me fly. Scene two, a few hours later, takes us to the queen and king sitting on their thrones. I thought you said you had practice. Oh well, get on with it. Sire, may I present to you your loyal subject, Tina Applewhite, and her, uh, wings. Not my wings, Your Majesty, but yours. Your wings to lift you above the treetops, to let you soar among the clouds. I used only the finest imported balsa wood for the frame. The lining is pure oriental silk. And the feathers, well, feathers are... Do they fly? I beg your pardon? Do they fly? Even if they're solid gold, they're worthless to me if they do not fly. Your Majesty, do they fly? Do fish swim? Do lions roar? Do elephants have trunks? All right, all right, let's get it on with it. How do I wear them? Oh, it's very simple, Your Majesty. Put your arms through here and hold on to these. These are wonderful wings. I know they will work. Look, I feel lighter already. I shall take off from the parapet. Let's be careful. He's on the parapet now. What courage. He doesn't even hesitate. He's off. I hope he doesn't fly too far and get lost. Look at those wings flap. He doesn't seem to be doing much good, though. Uh-oh. I wouldn't worry about his getting lost. Your Majesty. He landed. Maybe I'm the one who better worry? What happened, my darling? These wings did not take me up. These wings took me down. You suppose I'm wearing them upside down? I thought you said I would fly. I knew it wouldn't work. This whole idea was a mistake. But, Your Majesty, they do. I tied a string to them and took them out in the wind, and they flew beautifully. Oh, out in the wind, eh? And you were wearing them at the time? Oh, no, I was on the ground holding on to the other end of the string. This is not a set of wings. This is a kite. Take this imposter to the dungeon, and off with their wings. My beloved. Will you please give up this dangerous business business before you get yourself killed? Don't be absurd. Flying is no more dangerous than anything else. I could fall off a horse, you know. Yes, but you would be a great deal much closer to the ground. Boulder Dash. <laughs> Sire, may I present to you your loyal, loyal subject, Gerald F. Cronmiller and his wings. Your Highness, I offer you my ingenious invention, the helicopter. The helicopter, eh? How does it work? Well, sir, these things on top are called rotors. You wind the rotors to the left as far as they will go and release them. And that's all there is to it? That's all, Your Highness. The spinning rotors lift you, and you tilt your head in the direction you want to go. Then, as the rotors wind down, they lower you gently back to the ground. Gently. Gently. Don't do it. It doesn't look safe to me. My dear, a child's hobby force doesn't look safe to you.
Just wind it up and let it go? That's all, your highness, except for one thing. Just a minute, my good man. Tell me, have you tried the helicopter yourself? I mean, really tried it? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. It works. I guarantee it. That's good enough for me. But, your highness, wait! Oh, Don, this our ma is our majesty. There he goes. There he goes down. But the helicopter works. It's been laboratory tested. My poor baby, didn't it work? Oh, it worked all right. The helicopter went up, up, up. But I went down, down, down. Does this mean I'm not going to make gold? Take him to the dungeon. My dear, I hate to say I told you so, but if you hate to say it, then why do you say it? Well... Let's just get the fanfare. What do you have? What do you got now? Sire, may I present to you your loyal si subject, Isaac Somerville, and his wings? Your Majesty, may I present you the best wings of all? Funny, those don't look like wings at all. How do you wear them? You don't wear them, Your Majesty. You look at them. They're called books. Oh, I see. They're magic books, and you say a few words like abracadaddle or fiddle the battle, and they'll take you wherever you want to go. Well, not exactly. Well, then how do they work? Permit me. Open one. Here's a picture. The parent of Egypt. So that's what they look like. My dear, a picture of Paris. There's the river scene. What a good picture. I feel as if I'm really there. Now you see what I mean. Books are wings to the land of knowledge, and they are also and they are also wings to the land of fun. Look at these. Why well, it's a story about a little girl and a talking rabbit. It's called Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. <coughs> Wonderland, is that north or south of here? It's not north or south or east or west, either. The only way you can visit Wonderland is by reading that book. Let's see the rest of these. Hmm. Here's one that will take me to China and another one about Africa. I could go to Switzerland with Heidi. I've always wanted to see the Alps. This is very exciting, exciting indeed. But I hope to discover something. Here he is discovering, Your Highness. There's something new on every page. Wait a minute. Here's a book called The Principians of Aeronautics. Page! Take this book down to the dungeon. Make sure those scoundrels read it and let them go free. Yes, sire. And here, my good man, take your bag of gold. You have earned it. With books around, I don't think I'll ever be bored again. Thank you, Your Highness. Now, both of you, leave us alone so we can do some reading. All right, my Jill, where do you want to go? I can't decide. Should I visit the land of Oz with Dorothy, Dorothy the, and the Wizard of Oz, or Never Never Land with Peter Pan and Wendy? I would choose Never Never Land. You'd like it, my darling. I, it's about a boy who really can fly. His name is Peter Pan. That sounds perfect. All right, you read Peter Pan, I'll read The Wizard of Oz, and then we'll trade. Good idea. Well, bon voyage, Your Highness. I'll have a nice trip. You too, Your Highness. I'm so glad we found out about books. So am I. It's the only way to fly. <laughs>